Associate Professor Dr. Stephen McNeil here at UBC talks about how chemistry research can enhance the student learning experience. I think there's two main ways we can do that and we're actually in the process of undertaking some revisions in our first year chemistry courses here at UBC Okanagan that incorporate both of these ideas. One is there's this enormous challenge in chemistry education where because this molecular level perspective is so abstract and intangible and we have to use this symbolic language to convey information about these molecules, there are a number of barriers that students encounter uh, associated with that intangibility of the subject matter that make learning fundamental concepts in chemistry very difficult for them. That challenge in and of itself can be a really interesting object of research inquiry. We can research why it's difficult for students to learn chemistry and use what we learn from that research to improve our chemistry teaching. So it's a way to directly intertwine the research and the teaching mandates of the university. It's a way to use our classrooms as laboratories. We can talk to students, we can interview them, we can figure out what the barriers are to their understanding. We can explore and test and measure which teaching practices might help them to overcome those barriers and to better succeed in their learning. Students then become active participants mm -hmm. in the research process and they can immediately see what the benefits of those research uh, inquiries are going to be because they're going to have immediate impacts on what it is that they're trying to learn. So that's one thing that we can do. But I think the second and more important one comes back to this willingness of chemistry educators and researchers to step away from their abstract symbols and their tiny invisible molecules and actually discuss the broader tangible impacts. Mm -hmm. We need to do a better job of communicating that, not just to the public, but to our students in our courses as well, to actually embed some of those larger societal problems and chemistry's potential solutions to those problems right into the coursework that we're communicating. Maybe that's a new material that we can develop to enable 3D printing of prosthetic limbs. Maybe that's a new way to visualize the protein interactions that might lead to Alzheimer's disease. Maybe that's the development of a new renewable way to generate and store and transport energy. Those are all ideas that involve taking stuff and turning it into, the, into other stuff. They're ideas that involve the interactions and the behavior of molecules. And that's what chemistry teaches us about. And it makes it real. And it makes it real.